Hello everyone, I am Lata Jha and welcome to the latest episode of our show Business of Entertainment. Your weekly dose of the financial performance of what's buzzing in the world of entertainment at the movies, on TV and on streaming platforms around you. After setting the cash registers ringing with its December release Spider-Man No Way Home, Marvel Studios is all set to strike big at the Indian box office with its new film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In an unprecedented move, the film that released this Friday had opened advance bookings a month ago and made 20 crore from the same until the day of release. The film that made around 28 crore on opening day was expected to find great appeal across metros and small towns even though unlike spider-man doctor strange is not entirely children friendly and is suited to a more mature audience the english language version of the film was initially leading the ticket numbers closely followed by the hindi version cities such as bengaluru mumbai pune chennai hyderabad delhi ncr kolkata trivandrum guwahati and coimbatore led ticket sales doctor strange now makes for the fourth highest hollywood opener in india after avengers end game spider man no way home and avengers infinity war released last december spider man had made 32.67 crore at the box office on its first day and finished with lifetime earnings of 218.41 crore while the first doctor strange installment released in 2016 had started with opening day figures of 2.63 crore and ended its theatrical run with 25.2 crore trade experts are predicting lifetime collections of 150 to 175 crore for doctor strange 2 As far as web offerings go this week, Netflix is streaming Thar, starring Anil Kapoor, Harshvardhan Kapoor, and Fatima Sana Sheikh, directed by Raj Singh Chowdhury. The dark, depressing thriller drama is an unimpressive addition to Netflix's overwhelmingly somber library, with the makers mistaking gore and violence for grit and powerful storytelling. That's all we have as far as entertainment goes this week. We will be back next week with more news and context on all that's fun and entertaining in hopefully better times. Till then, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in and remember this video is also available as a podcast on various platforms.